Well, hey there. Today, we're gonna learn about the differences between the Expedition and the Pando 2.0 from our friends. Hey everyone, how's it going? Kenny here with Off Grid Trailers. Today, I'm gonna to be walking through the Expedition and Pando with Corey uh, and answering any of those questions that you guys might have. So Denny, why don't you start telling us about some of the differences between the Expedition 2.0 and the Pando 2.0? Sounds fantastic. Let's start with the Expedition over here. So as you can see, there's a 50 degree departure angle on the Expedition. The Pando now has a 29 degree departure angle just still a lot of departure angle. In the 50 degree departure angle on the Expedition, now we have a 31 gallon water tank. Whereas with the Pando, it comes standard with 14 gallons of water in here, and then a 19 gallon water tank bolted underneath. Let's talk about kitchen configuration. So I noticed the Expedition is out here on the side, whereas the Pando is tucked inside the traditional teardrop shape. Correct. So on this side galley kitchen here on the Expedition, drops down you have our custom in-house made stainless steel sink, dual burner stove, uh, you have some options for lights and stereo within here. And then when you come over here, you've got your full galley kitchen, stainless steel countertop, once again, your custom in-house made stainless steel sink, 57 liter fridge in the back here, and lots and lots of storage. So the Pando allows you to option two fridges, whereas the Expedition, you only have the choice of one. That's correct. So you have one in the front, in the back here, and potentially one in the front for an option whereas the Expedition has one as a standard in the front. Now let's talk storage. So I see plenty of in-kitchen storage in the back of the Pando. That's correct. Shelving. Tons and tons. Some slide outs under the stove for your pots and pans. Just um, a ton in the rear galley kitchen. Whereas on the Expedition, you've got kind of exterior type of storage, but as you can see, there's lots of shelves in order to put any big boxes or whatever else you want to put on the inside. So the Pando really lets you organize, you know, your food, your items like that without any sort of third party bins or boxes, whereas the Expedition, you're going to want to prepackage your food, your cutlery, your cooking ware into bins and boxes and then put them into that storage compartment. That's correct. So let's talk about the kind of square footage or the footprint on each trailer. Uh, both the Expedition and Pando are the same. Same length, same width, same, same height. height but the weight? The weight, good question, Corey. So the weight on the Pando is about 500 pounds heavier. Now some of you are like, well, how the heck is that possible? So on the Expedition, as you can see, there's a 50 degree departure angle, which removed a lot of the material, both from frame and the body. So with the Pando, all that material is here, plus your galley kitchen on top of that. So that's where that 500 pounds comes from. Hope to see you guys soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any other questions, definitely put them in the comments below and we'll be sure to answer them to the best of our abilities.